guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Madison thank you so much for joining today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a fall haul hot topic haul mostly getting ready for fall and Halloween <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through some of the things that I picked up and share with you guys and then I'm gonna be able to put them away because what I do is when I buy things I shove them in my beauty room and then I wait for a video and then I can finally put them away <laughs> Let me know if anyone out there is like the same as me. I don't know, maybe I'm just the only one, but that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go through Hot Topic because I have a lot of Funko Pops that I picked up. Sorry if you hear my family out in the background. They're having a heyday, hockey game's on, so I need to film this to go out there and join them. So I'm just gonna quickly go through all of the Pops and then I'll go into Bath and Body Works and then I'll go into Winners. So I shoved everything into one bag as well as my Pops are on the floor. <laughs> I'm first going to start off with the new um, Nightmare Before Christmas collection that they came out with. There's only four in this series. There is Vampire Jack, The Witch, Mummy Boy, and Under Sea Gal. So I did pick up the Vampire Jack. I'm hoping to pick up the other three, but when I went to my Hot Topic, they didn't have any at the moment. So I just picked up this guy. Honestly, I'm a big Nightmare Before Christmas fan, and I need to pick up every single pop that I can. I have pretty much all the other collections full, so I'm excited to start on a new one. I feel like they come out with pops every single season, almost, or like two times a year, so my bank does not like that, but that is okay. So again, I just picked up Vampire Jack. I'm hoping to pick up the other ones or maybe buy them online. Next up, I did pick up the Diamond Collection again from Hot Topic Exclusive, Coraline in her rain jacket. So I have Coraline in her raincoat. I guess I should say raincoat, right? not rain jacket. And I have Mr. Bobinski with the mouse. I don't have any of the other ones. These have been so hard for me to find. I don't know why. Um, I know that there is the other mother that is an exclusive that I still can't get. So when I saw that my Hot Topic had the Diamond Collection one, I snagged it right away. Um, and then I'm also waiting to get the Coraline with the cat buddy in her blue sweater, which is honestly one of my favorite outfits that she wears. So super excited I was able to pick up the diamond one. Honestly, I love her colors with the blue and yellow. It honestly stands out. It makes her such of her character. This is definitely one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite um, collection of pops. Um, I then did pick up... <laughs> Barrel and the mayor. Um, my hot topic was having spend your hot cash as well as like 20% off and also clearance. So like this guy I got for like 10 bucks and the mayor I think I got for like maybe 12. And what's cool about the mayor is he actually turns his head like in the movies which is so cool. I think I want happy mayor for right now. I will take off the tags. He originally was $22 and... Barrel, I don't have a price for him, um, but he actually glows in the dark too, which is really cool So that's really awesome. And this is also a Hot Topic exclusive, which is amazing. Oh, here's the price He was originally $20 and I got him for like 10 bucks. So pretty much 50% off. I love his little outfit I love his little face. I wish I could like take it off You know like the little masks uh, I think that's so cool. I don't have any plushies of any of the other, like I have Sally there, I have two Jacks, I have zero, but I don't really have any of the other characters, so I was like, you know what, these were on sale, I also had a hot cash, so I was like, let's get it, why not, right? So I'm going to add these two guys to my collection, and honestly, I'll probably put them out on my couch for Halloween, or I can put them on my dining room table, something like that. Next up, we did get some Christmas ornaments from the Disney store. Again, one of these is actually for someone in our family, so I'm not going to open this one. I wasn't sure what one it was. Sorry. Um, but I did pick up one for myself. Comment down below if you guys can guess what one I picked up. Um, this was one of them that was available um, at my store already. So I obviously had to get it every year. I get new Christmas ornaments and our tree at my house is Nightmare Before Christmas. So I obviously had to get Lock, Shock, and Barrel in their little bathtub. Um, honestly, the detail on this is amazing. Um, I do have to say if you are picking out this specific um, ornament, to make sure that all the little pieces are on, like all the little foots and stuff, because two or three of the ones that I picked up actually had pieces broken and I told the... Um, the clerk lady there that some of them were broken so she took them off the shelf but just make sure that you're careful 
when getting it. And again, this is the Sketchbook Disney 2019 ones. There's also ones that were the snow globes that I'm trying to get my hands on, but unfortunately I can't at the moment. So I'll probably, if I can, um, add those to my collection too. So, so excited to hang that on my tree. Um, okay, I have two pops left. Unfortunately, I can't find my Jack one, so I'll only be able to show you the Sally. But I did get the Dapper Jack and Sally, both, again, Hot Top exclusives, and again, from the Diamond Collection. They ran out of my Hot Topic so freaking quickly, I had to go to three. I was able to get the Jack right away, but then I couldn't find Sally anywhere, so I ended up going to three different Hot Topics, and finally, I was able to get one. So, super happy. This is her right there, and then um, Jack has like a top hat and a suit on, which is really cool. If I can find him, I'll try and insert a picture or a clip right here of him. But honestly, so beautiful. I love the diamond collections. For me, I feel like her dress stands out more than her hair, and normally it's the hair that really catches me with the diamonds. Um, but honestly, so beautiful. Again, I'm an inbox collector, so unfortunately I won't be able to take her out, but I can give you guys a close-up, and I do have everyone else in this collection that they came from. So that was it from Hot Topic. I'm then going to go into my Bath & Body Works bag, which is also, I think, kind of like a mishmash of other things. So, apologize. Oh yes, okay. So next up I picked up two movies from Walmart. We always have the $5 bin at Walmart, and I like going through them because they have a lot of the older videos or DVDs that people don't like anymore or aren't buying and they clearance it down to like sometimes I've even seen like 288 so I did pick up the Casper movie I do have this actually on VHS which is hilarious so I wanted it on DVD as well and this is one of my favorite movies my daughter also loves it and this is definitely a classic that we will be playing close to Halloween I do have a bucket list of movies which is really exciting that we are now ticking off as we watch them and Casper was definitely on the list so I was super excited to add him into my collection. I'm one of those people that I do like having DVDs. <laughs> and then next up, I had to grab this when I saw it. I'm not too sure if I did actually pay the price tag that's on it, but this is a four film favorites Tim Burton collection, and I don't have this one. It has four of his movies on it. So we have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Corpse Bride, uh, Beetlejuice, and we have Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I don't have Beetlejuice or Pee Wee's, so this was awesome. I have two, I think two DVDs of, um, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, and I have three of Corpse Bride. I have a, an extended cut, a director's edition, and then a regular Blu-ray. So now I have all of these together, which is awesome. Again, I'm a big DVD collector, and especially anything Tim Burton, so honestly, I had to pick this up when I saw it. And still, $10 for four movies is nothing. And again, I'm not too sure if I did pay the price, but I would have paid 20 bucks for this, like, hands down. So, super excited to add these in my collection. And last from uh, Walmart, I did pick up these LED light sets. There's 10 little purple bats. I was thinking of hanging them from here behind me or somewhere in my beauty room as a backdrop. They are purple or pinkish, so I think that's really cool. And they come with the um, batteries and everything already in them. And this was $2.98, so I was like, score! Not fall related, but I had these in my bag somehow. <laughs> Um, these are Sugarfina ice cream cones, and the store that I was going to was closing. So they were having like buy two or buy three, get one free or whatever it was. The ice cream cones are honestly my favorite thing ever, so I picked up like four or five packages. I only have three left. This, if you haven't heard of Sugarfina, it's like an expensive adult candy store, I guess you could say. Um, I really, really like it. It's like a bougie candy store. Everything's in like the see-through clear acrylic boxes unless you like the little sample packs their branding is beautiful the store is beautiful open concept like honestly i love the store i'm sad the one that was closest to me closed but i picked these up these will probably be gone but like tomorrow because they are highly 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 addicting addictive and honestly i like it i love it it's a little expensive but i think it's worth it like it's it's really gourmet candy that i i have to say so now we're finally getting into the Bath & Body Works stuff that I actually picked up. <laughs> I went there and they were having their wallflower sale. Um, so I ended up picking up some wallflowers. I have like six in the basement. I'm really addicted. So I picked up some new flavors. This is the Maple Cinnamon Pancakes. 
which is warm maple syrup, fluffy buttermilk pancakes, fresh ground cinnamon with essential oils. I then have warm sugar vanilla, which is always a classic that I have, um, which is sheer florals, absolute vanilla, sandalwood with essential oils, again. Um, I then picked up a new one, which is the cinnamon Irish cream. It smelled really, really good. I'm not one for more of the creamy scents, but it was really good. Cinnamon spice liqueur, uh, Irish cream, French vanilla. I also picked up this new one, which was pumpkin cupcake. Whipped buttercream pumpkin spice with freshly baked cupcakes. So those were that, those ones. And I think I still have a couple more. Yeah. And then I have white caramel cold brew, which I've been honestly loving the pumpkin cold brews from Starbucks. Honestly, I've been having one like every day. This is cold brewed coffee, vanilla sweet cream, buttery caramel. I got a watermelon lemonade because this sounds so good, like my mouth is literally watering. Watermelon ice, sparkling water with Meyer lemons. Like, does that not sound delicious? Like, that sounds delicious to me. And then last but not least, I picked up a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I do um, burn the pumpkin marshmallow lattes. I burn the marshmallow pumpkin something. Like, I burn everything that's marshmallow and pumpkin. So when I saw this, I was like, I had to have it. It's vanilla, pumpkin spice, and homemade marshmallows. Mm -mm -mm. So it was like seven for whatever. So I picked those up to stock up my little um, display that I have in the basement. I don't know if you can see up here. Back there, it's a clear glass jar, and there's a bunch of bath bombs and stuff in that one. The one downstairs, I actually have full of essential, like the um, wallflowers. It looks really, really pretty. So I normally just pick one from there and I plug them in. I have one in my bathroom, one in my living room, one in the hallway, one in my bedroom. One by the TV. So five. Five in total, which is a little crazy, but you know what? My house smells so good. And then last but not least is everything from Winners. I didn't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to quickly go through it. I did pick up some cookie cutters. This was $9.99. You have a leaf, a pumpkin, a squirrel, an egg corn, and a turkey. Me and my daughter like to make cookies and cupcakes and cakes. So I thought this was really cute for fall. I then had to pick one of these up. This is the Vintage Cosmetics um, little, what do you want to call this? Hairband, the big hair bands. Uh, I love cheetah print, so I had to get it, and they always have the big little bows. Like, look at how freaking cute this is. Um, so this was $5.99. It's super soft. I'm definitely going to wear this when I um, do my makeup or when I'm out of the shower and my hair is pushed back. I'll definitely put that on. Then um, my boyfriend did get me this little double compact mirror, and the reason why he bought it for me was because... I don't know if you can see it, but there's little Frenchies on here! And honestly, I will one day have a Frenchie, so I need to own everything that's Frenchie. <laughs> so this was $4.99, and again, it's a double compact. I will throw this in my purse. I like having little mirrors in case of anything, you know, fix your teeth, your lipstick. So I will always, always use those. Speaking of Frenchies, I saw these and I could not pass this up. This is a two-pack of pillowcases for $9.99, and it says, pardon my Frenchie. One is the Eiffel Tower that says, pardon my, and the other one is the French Bulldog, and it has Frenchie above it. So I will be putting these on my bed tonight once I wash them. Honestly, I was waiting to do this haul so that I could put these on my bed. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. There was also ones that were skeletons that I was super close to getting, but I highly doubt my boyfriend will want me to put skeletons on our bed, so maybe not. <laughs> Next up, I did pick up a bunch of mugs, but again, I am someone who shops for Christmas throughout the year. So this is a Christmas gift one, so I won't be showing this one. I highly doubt he's going to watch my video, but... I'll just leave that to the side. And then... Sorry about the mess, guys. Or the noise. Um, I picked this one up for myself, obviously. It is a black mug. Um, I love the splattered paint on it, and it says sweater. Sweather. I just made up a new, a new word, guys. Sweather. It's sweater weather. <laughs> Um, and then this was a $4.99. I love the like simplicity of it. I also like how it's black with just simple white writing on it. Honestly, I think this would look aesthetically pleasing in a kitchen, but I'm really just going to use it for my hot chocolate or my teas. And I was like, you know what? It's winter is coming in fall. Like, hello, I don't know why I need 700 mugs, but I buy them anyways. So just add this one to the collection. <laughs> 
And last but not least, to go along with my Frenchie addiction, how can I not pass this up? Like, sorry, do you see this? Do you see this? It is a French Bulldog skeleton hand soap dispenser. How, like, I obviously had to buy you. He was $12.99, which is a little bit expensive, but honestly, it's worth it. Um, am I gonna put soap in here? Probably not. <laughs> it's probably just gonna sit in my bathroom or sit on my shelf or something. Like, so freaking cute. Can I take this off? Like, I could even just have him like that. Sit on my shelf. Like, how freaking cute is that? Oh my God. Mwah. I love it. So cute. So that was everything in my fall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you aren't already, click that subscribe button before you leave, and I will see you in another video. Bye!